as I said, our the topic today will be about programming C++. Uh, one thing that you should know is that the base of the, all these programming language is 1 and 0. I don't want to talk about it because I have two reasons. Uh, one of my reasons is that if you learn, uh, it won't help you to program better. And uh, it's not necessary to learn. Uh, one other reason is that uh, because it's a little bit hard to explain and learn, uh, let's just ignore it. So, uh, what we are gonna learn today uh, is, let me show you. Uh, today we're going to learn what is C++, uh, printing Hello World, it's a program, and a program, I, I've mentioned you uh, that we're gonna learn a program. That program will be, uh, it will uh, take two numbers and print their sum. So what is C++? Generally, C++ is a programming language which has imperative and object-oriented features. It is also referred to as middle-level programming language. It is developed by Dion Strastra at Bell Labs uh, since 1979 and it has first appeared in the year 1985. Uh, C++ uh, has been used in applications, I'm um, uh, meaning developing these applications, games, animations, uh, web browsers, database access, media, media access, uh, compilers, compilers are uh, thing that they compile uh, our code. And uh, operating uh, systems, operating system uh, is like Windows, Windows XP, Windows 8, Windows 10 and other uses, of course. Tip. As you can see, C++ is one of the most useful programming language which you need to learn. There are lots of websites and classes where you could start learning C++. But if you want my suggestion, Quora College is one of the best uh, because not only they are perfect in C++, but also perfect in other programming languages and they have uh, lots of uh, coding questions that you could solve. So let's see how to uh, start a program. Uh, first, uh, I'm gonna explain you uh, C++ in code blocks because it's a little bit easier than, for example, compa comparing to Dev C++. Uh, so code blocks uh, is my suggestion for you beginners. So let's see how to start the project. I'm using 12.11 uh, version of code blocks. I guess code, blo code blocks uh, have been des has been designed around 20 years ago. So you need to click. Let me show it to you. You need to click uh, on new project if you wanna open a new project. Uh, if you wanna uh, open another project that you have. Uh, designed once before you could click on this uh, this thing and uh, this one is a learning c++ uh, or code blocks tools uh, but if you want to manage this and ignore it uh, here is a con here will uh, show the compiling process let's see how to create a uh, project uh, we are gonna use c uh, talk console uh, if you have some graphic work, you could use this one. These are other options that uh, we're not gonna use. So you're gonna choose the first one. Uh, this language that we're gonna use is C++. So C++, yes. The project title, for example, teaching here. Uh, here, as you can see, you could uh, you could show where to save the file. Mm, then let's see. Uh, this is nothing, but make sure the compiler is uh, compiler is in GNU GCC compiler. Then finish. So our project is here. Uh, this is the program. Uh, this um, basically something ready for you, which we will uh, type it. So, first thing is the uh, library. 
First, you need to uh, say a, a library that you're gonna use its method and things. So for library, we need to write sharp, sorry, sharp, then include, include the name of the library that you will use. Mine is I, I mean, uh, for this, a project that we will uh, work on is iOS Stream. iOS Stream. Basically, most of the uh, program uh, program projects uh, include iOS Stream. Uh, iOS Stream is uh, enough for us, but for more safety, let's uh, include. C O N I dot H. So this line that I'm gonna type uh, says that uh, use the method that has been uh, that that has been. Let me for you. Why is it doing such thing? No. Okay. We have a little problem here. Let me fix it for you. And I'll okay, the problem was about the keyboard. So, uh, this line that I'm gonna type uh, shows that use the method that has been uh, defined uh, in this libraries use them for example uh, in library io stream uh, we've defined something uh, by zero and one codes and now we're gonna use it so the this line will be using make sure that they their color is exactly like this the libraries should be green this line for example using should be blue using name paste let me show you then you type half the way of something it will show an uh, opportunity that you could use so we're gonna use namespace and as you can see it's ready for us so by clicking enter we'll come here using namespace st and semicolon semicolon called this semicolon i'm not sure that if we call it in english semicolon too but in programming we call it semicolon so make sure that all of the uh, lines that you're uh, saying something to the compiler to do uh, have this one otherwise uh, it won't count it as uh, something that you've told it and uh, it's gonna have uh, some error as you can see this is the mark that we are gonna uh, I'm gonna explain you what does it mean. Okay, uh, one uh, thing that I uh, almost forget to mention is that these uh, three lines and the last line, these four, uh, let me do it for you. You need to say main here and two parentheses and kind of this parentheses. These two shows that uh, all of your code will be. Uh, between these uh, two parentheses. So the last line will be get ch, get ch with the space between them and this parentheses without space. Uh, there you go and same color. So now uh, I said that we're gonna. Uh, print hello world for printing anything the uh, method that we're gonna use is c out c out is responsible for printing uh, anything that we tell to do so so for this order c out make sure uh, for c out we had these two i don't know what do we call them uh, but these two c out when you wanna uh, 
print exactly same uh, exactly what you're telling it you need to put these two and right between them you should turn to blue what you're writing for example we're gonna write hello world hello world okay as you can see this is blue as i said after each uh, order that you're telling to the compiler to do use semicolon now let's compile see uh, how's our code you need to first build and run and uh, because if you use run it will uh, run something that you have built once before so now build and run and uh, look at here uh, to see the compiling process see it's print hello world 